Okay, so this is we're back with another episode of Beyond the Bounds. As left off, we ended off the prologue, and now we're gonna start episode one, Alzheimer's Troublemakers. See how it goes. Episode one, The Troublemakers of Alzheimer. One day ago, Alzheimer, a city of engineers. Oh, I wish I could be an engineer, but just hell I won't. And this goes here. Good. It's done. Alright. I have a good feeling about it this time. I feel 90 on uh, 99 times. My gosh. <laughs> Lantern. I mean, I know when, when they say, uh, if at first you don't see, try, try again. But isn't that a little to the point? Uh, shouldn't you do it to the point of basically you're wasting time and should be doing something else? Shouldn't you not be doing that? I mean, I get it, I get it, but my goodness. But I've got a good feeling about this one. Let's fly Orinthopeter number 100. Hmm, what else do I need to do? Maybe we should take a look at the blueprint, eh, which is right there. Oops, the part lying all over the floor. I should clean up before going down. I also need to check out the blueprint. All right, let's check out the blueprint first. I'm almost done. All I have to do is attach the nut, bolts, gear, and shaft. Just four more parts. All right, all right, that seems uh, reasonable enough. I need to collect all the scattered parts first. All right, so I know for a fact there are nuts and bolts. This is where the bolts were. One, two, six. Good, this will do. All right, so there's the sh gear. Oops, I can't believe I left the gear there. Can't let it fall into the water tank. If this went into the boiler through the water wheel, there would have been big trouble. All right, all right, all right. I think that's, oh wait, large nut. What a clean finish. It's so good to use expensive parts. All right, so I think that's everything here, so. I'll go downstairs after I finish my orthopoditor. Orthopoditor, okay, yeah, okay, fine. Where's the last thing we need? Mm, oh, 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 ah, aha. Shaft, huh? Ah, so this is where the shaft was. All right, so let's see. First things first, boop. Hmm, I guess this one should be. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have to put it specifically where it goes. Okay, let's see. So, uh, bolt, wheel, and then other stuff. Uh, the turning thing and the shaft for the or the gear for the back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I get, it, I get, it, I get. It. So we need to do that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Stop. I'm so used to wide island controls. I'm. Uh, okay, gear goes in the back. Yes, that's good. The bolt goes in the front. Yep, and then the last two things go on the bottom. Right, yep, yep, there we go. Good. All the important parts are attached. The rest is... gonna break. <laughs> I need to arrange the cables. It's done. Or... Ornithopter... On uh, number 100... You will be the first machine to fly. It needs more power, but I'm sure Nanny can deal with that. <laughs> now I just need to hide the thing. Can't let Grandpa find it. We mean with this? Grandpa won't find it if I cover it with this. No, no, no. A big ass machine covered with uh, a cover. He definitely won't be suspicious of that if it's never been here before. And then just randomly that appears and it's a big machine covered by something. No, no, no. He won't be suspicious at all. That's good enough for today. Now all that's left is a test flight. I should go to my room. Grandpa will be looking for me by now. Yeah, let's go. That's enough for today. I should go down. Yeah, that's what I was doing. All right, let's see. Whew. I'm sure no one saw me. I think I'll just relax, clean my room. Now first, let's put the bookshelf. We can't put the bookshelf back. Okay. Oh, wait, we have to... Okay, never mind. Grandpa bought this from somewhere. It's okay. I guess I wear it a lot. Do we pick it up or no? Ah, a book. Ah, I read it every day. But it's just too hard. How could Edison write this 500 years ago? Not sure. Not sure at all. Uh, let's see. What else do we do here? Ah, aha. Uh-oh. Hey, you, grandchild. It's Grandpa. Open the door. I have to hide the secret patches with the bookshelf. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, gosh. Stupid hoodie got stuck under the wheel. 
I didn't pick it up. <sighs> What's this t-shirt made of? It's all jammed up and wheel. It won't come out. Yo, grandchild, hurry. Okay, just wait. Forget it. Just gonna have to take off the wheel. I need a tool. Wait, there's a toolbox on the book sh bookshelf. Okay, a tool. I need a tool. Where? Ah, I dropped it. Ah, I should use this one. I should use one. Which one should I use? Uh, wrench? No, no, no. Actually, yeah, I think wrench is fine. Okay, let's take the wheel off. Let's loosen that nut. Visual shower. <laughs> if you don't know, Visual Shower is the company that make this game. So, <laughs> they're putting their own brand and merch into the game. <laughs> uh, nice, nice uh, product placement there. <laughs> Wham! I've never seen product placement being placed actually into the story. Besides White Island Season 1, there was product placement there. <laughs> Good going there. <laughs> Stupid hoodie. Finally got it out. Now for the bookshelf. Bam, bam! Uh-oh. There's no other way. I have to break it. What? Please don't. Hiya! It's not what it looks like. Ta-da! Here's Nene. Nene, you asshole. Huh? <laughs> Got you, stupid lantern. Nene? I thought I heard Grandpa's voice. Ta-da! Have a look at this. You recorded Grandpa's voice? You really scared me. You should have seen your face. <laughs> that was too funny. Well, I'm sure glad you weren't Grandpa. Quick, let's walk the secret passage. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, how many times to tell you? You open doors, not break them. Grandchild? Yikes! It's the real Grandpa. Oh yeah, Lee wants to talk to you. He needs you to go on a errand. And you tell me that now because... <laughs> let's go together! Nene, yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, you also need to fix my door later, by the way. Grandpa, I'm here! Grandpa? Huh? Where is he? Yo ho ho! Why are you so late? Ah, oh, the chill, cool Grandpa. Alright, alright, I dig it. <laughs> Even though I've already seen him before. Kinda of forgot what he looked like till now. Huh? He's coming out of the reception room. Grandchild, what's up? Is someone coming today? <laughs> That's right, boy. I'm having an interview. Interview? Someone moving in? Yeah! Kid's got so much soul. I love this CV. It really speaks to me. So, how was my rhyme, baby? Hmm, I guess it was okay. Grandpa's in a good mood today. Maybe I could... Uh, interviewee? Who's the interviewee? <laughs> He's the same age as you. On his resume, he said his dreams is world domination. But first town domination. Ah, uh, world domination again? Why do all the crazy people come to this town? No, no, no. Ambition is good. Ambition to solve youth. Madness is the brother of genius. Um, Grandpa? Yeah? Don't you think the Ornath is full of soul too? If it could fly, that's just shut up, game. Lantern? Oh no. He's taking off his glasses. Are you still stuck on that? Don't be a fool like your dad. Flight is not a science, it's a fantasy. But, but, yeah, enough of this nonsense. <sighs> so what's the errand? Can you go check the automatic breaker? The machine you installed for the bakery? Ah, I get it. You're worried about till, till, till. Yeah, her rough beats are too much for my precious machine to handle. No, Leo. You should have said her beats are too rough. My machine ain't so tough. Wow, that rhyme is ill. You rule, hip hop bear girl. She's a bear, half bear, half human. Okay, now I remember. Okay then, I'm off. Come on, Nene, let's get out of here. Uh, come on, Lantern, hurry up! That's what I was doing! Why were you looking at this picture? Hmm? Lantern, are you looking at your crush again? N no way! I don't have a crush on her! <laughs> right. You've been mooning up her ever since you were little. It's because... 
This painting was left by the great Edison, and that constellation in the painting was never discovered. You're one weird boy, falling for a girl in a painting. You can't even see her face. I didn't fall for her. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll stop. Come on, let's go. All right, all right. Now, let's go see if the automatic baker is okay, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Making fun of me and my crushes. How dare you? How dare you, Nene? You sexy bitch. What? Tilta's bakery is the three way intersection, right? Yep, just a little further. Hmm, I think something fun will happen if I give him a little tweak. Hey, Tiltil! What are you doing to the automatic baker? Whatever you're thinking, don't! Lantern, perfect timing. I know you have a driver. Hand it over. Huh? What do you need a screwdriver for? You're not gonna mess with the, with the automatic baker, are you? Don't worry. I'm just going to tighten one little screw. What's the harm? You can't fool me. You're the last person I allowed to repair a machine, Tiltil. I still remember the incident. That poor automatic washing machine was just fine until you. No, no, no. I'm going to be an engineer no matter what. I wish I could be an engineer. I'm starting to be an engineer, but I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to die alone. I'm going to fix this one loose screw, I promise. No means no. I shall protect the piece of Alfheimer no matter what you say. Coming on strong today, Lantern. But what your grandpa would say about the orthomonitor yours? Um, why, whatever do you mean? I don't want the slightest clue what you're talking about. Listen, Buster, if you don't want the truth to come out, you better bring me a screwdriver. Ah, uh, fine. I'll get it. But just one screw, all right? Of course, sure. Now hurry up and go get it. Ah, uh, Nene, why are you mess with me? I try to be friendly, but rather. Damn it, where the fuck is a screwdriver? You need one! Oh, in the toolbox. I'm an idiot. Tilsa said she needed a screwdriver. Let's not drop the toolbox this time. All right, now let's go to Tai Tai. Tell tell, even though she's being mean as hell. Here is your damn screwdriver, you little girl. <sighs> can't believe I'm gonna hand over a screwdriver to that walking apocalypse. But I can't let my grandpa find out about the my Aha, uh -huh. finally a screwdriver. Now let the genius begin. Uh oh. Just like this. Ah, uh, oops. <laughs> One, two, three, and it's done. Why do I make her sound like an alien? And not like a little girl when I when I try to do a little girl voice. I'm making her sound like a weird ass alien. <laughs> I am one weird person. I swear. I'm so sorry for you if you're still here having to deal with my bullshit. What the? Oh, bo okay. Well, you fucked it up, Telltale. You dumb bitch. <laughs> I didn't wait. No, I didn't. You're a little girl. I'm sorry. Well, maybe you're just very old, but just have a lolly body. It's just, oh my gosh, though. What the hell? What is that? Ah, my beautiful house. Oh my. What have I done? Telltale, what have you done? I have succeeded yet again, and talk about talent. What is that? Did Tiltil get her hands on a machine again? We need to stop the automatic baker. Out of the way, Tiltil. Why? It's working fine. Don't touch it. What have I done? I didn't know it'd be this bad. <laughs> Lantern, you've done it again. Uh, I'm so bored. Why is this house so peaceful all the time? Someone help! The machine will kill us all! I guess I don't have a choice. I have to play with it. <sighs> Lantern. D there's no time for that. We need to stop. What? You're not thinking about leaving poor little Tilto all by herself, are you? No use. I need to deal with Tilto before I get to the baker. Uh. I have Nene. Out of the way, Tilto. That machine is going nuts. So you don't want to eat my bread? <laughs> 
bread. Is it making bread? What else? It's going to be delicious. Do you doubt my baking skills? Your bread is delicious. Lantern, just hold up a sec. It's baking bread, man. So what if the town dies? Let Nene! Just kill me. You guys are insane. So bread is what you seek, huh? What? It's breaking bad now. Leave it alone. That's what it looks like. You need to visit an off the top of the logist. Ah! Stop hitting me! I'm sick of beating up Landon. Is there anything fun to do? How am I supposed to get her attention? Uh, this? Wait. I can't get rid of Tilt Tilt -til with a little trick. Ah! Ah! Hey, Landon, where do you think you're going? You promised to play with me. When did I promise you that? Whatever. I'm bored, so chat with me. I'm a fucking idiot. I've been sitting here this whole time trying to figure out what to do. I forgot there was a communication button. She wants me to talk to her. I'm an idiot. So, what should we talk about? Uh, 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 engineer. Grandpa wants to talk to you. He says the waterway broke and only you can fix it. Really? So he had finally acknowledged my engineering genius. Uh, sure, yeah. Go on, he needs you right now. Hmm, are you lying? The chief has faith in me all of a sudden. Um, uh, I'm telling the truth. Then bring me proof. I won't leave until I see proof. But proof? It's an outright lie. How am I supposed to get proof? I know exactly how. Yo, grandchild, how is it? Is it working okay? Um, well, you see, he'll faint if he finds out I gave a screwdriver to Tilltail, and there's an other, this other two. I didn't check yet. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Tilltail's beats are mad dangerous. I need to check it. So check it, yo. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll go right away. Somehow I need to get proof for Tilto from Grandpa. But how? I know how. Maybe I could record Grandpa's voice for proof. Grandpa? Sup, pup? About the automatic baker. Yeah, it is sweetly competing with Tilto's hot beating. Okay, I'll record here. What? Who? Tick. I'm talking about... Tilt-tilt. Okay, this might just work. Fine. That machine is wrecking havoc on an entire town. Is that how bread gets made? What? The entire town? Well, I think she's exaggerating a little bit. You said that's how bread gets made. <laughs> Alzheimer's tech is the best in the world. Ah, that's it! Grandpa, can you say the best in the world just one more time? What? Of course not. Why? You say it all the time. There's no soul in life. I can only say what my soul is rocking. Hmm. How do I rock Grandpa's soul? With a limited time, limited edition, virtual... Okay. With Nene! Oh, wait. With Nene! Nene, you're close with Grandpa. Do something. Nope. Can't do it. And why not? There's no soul in life. Fuck off, Nene! <laughs> Thanks for the help, Nene. Uh, what about a book? Grandpa really looks up to Edison. Grandpa, this book. Edison? Good. He's showing interest. Maybe we can steer the conversation with this. Uh, Edison. How did Master Edison know all this stuff? How, you say? It's because his... It's now or never. Technical skill is the best in the world. You heard? Hell yeah! Good, that's it. Oh, the interview over there. Okay, kid, the rest is on you. Whew. Recording's done. Let's see. Tail tail. Technical skill is the best in the world. Can we trick her with this? She's a complete idiot. So yeah, it'll work. You have a point. But wow. If you think she's dumb. Lantern, did you say something? Nope, nothing. <laughs> okay, 
Let's go before uh Nene beats the shit out of me. There you go, Telltale. What is it? Did you bring me puff? Yeah, listen to this. Tap. Telltale. <laughs> Best tactical skill. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, what was I thinking? This isn't gonna trick her. The town chief finally acknowledged me. Um, yeah! The greatest engineer in the world, and he's asking for your help! God, I won the bet, chief. I'm coming. What? What bet? None of your business. I almost forgot. Lantern, here's your screwdriver. Well, I'm off to the chief's house. I'm fucked, ain't I? Well, this is great. Wow. She actually fell for that? No time to be impressed. Let's stop the machine. Good. I'm gonna rip it apart. No, it's a machine. All we have to do is stop it. Leave it to me. Hmm. Fine. Whatever. Let's see what Tiny Lantern can do. That's not nice, you know that? What kind of engine did Grandpa use? It's thrashing around like crazy. Well, I'll find out soon enough. Right now, I need to do whatever I can. Okay, what is this long thing? That's what she said. <laughs> is it a law of bread? Bread? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give I'm starved! Ah. Why is it so hard? That's also what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, the, the opportunity came at best. What? Even you can't eat it? What kind of abomination is that thing baking? I don't know, but I know that's there. What is that sticky thing? You won't believe it, but it's toe for making bread. What? That disgusting gob becomes delicious bread? Hey Nate, it's not a good time to be thinking about the taste of bread. Now I'm getting hungry, fucking hell. Lantern, it's always a good time to think about the taste of bread. Hmm. Anyway, how should I use this? Probably stick it in its engine and make sure it can never make bread again just by gooping bread out of it completely. Or we can just rip that apart. Ah, so hot! I can't get near it. The steam coming out for the pipe is too hot. Is there any way to stop the steam? Like I said, put just dough in the machine to make sure it just pops out everywhere and just goops everywhere to make sure the steam, the machine is never usable again. Hot, hot! Can't get that way because the steam is too hot. Oh, there's another pipe right there! Oh, I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! Okay. Good, this one is blocked. Uh, I use half a loaf of dough to block the one hole. That's not good. So now can we use the ladder and uh... Ah, 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 ah. Ugh. What if I use the other half? Will that be beneficial? Yay! <sighs> Can I break that off? <sighs> oh my gosh. There, Nene, please, for love of Arceus, help me pull that thing off. Thank you. Okay, so, it's, uh, what should we do? Let's just break it. Whoa, calm down. It's a machine grandpa built. I think we just need to stop its gears by shoving a hard ass piece of bread in there, right? Let's stick this bread in here. All right, the big gear stopped. The small gear is still spinning. What do I do? Will I be remove it with a screwdriver? I think I have to get the small gear with my screwdriver. Let's see. Ah ha ha! Good. This should do. It worked. It's shaking. All the gears are down. The machine should stop soon. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that made it faster! Bam! Kaboom! We're doomed. It's not stopping. When is... soon? Fuck off! Gah! No way! I broke this control system! So how's it still moving? Lantern, my boy. Sometimes fists speak louder than scales. No, never. Just wait. I'm sure something is wrong with it now. Uh, what if we use a ladder to get up there? If I put this here, I could go up. Good. Now, what if, um, okay. I don't see the black... I didn't see this black smoke until the gears gear stopped. Now that I put the ladder in, I think I can get a closer look. Let's go. Let's put that to clog it, right? Is that what we do? We clog it? We, uh... Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, yeah, we have to get close. I'm an idiot. Black smoke is coming out from the exhaust pipe. That didn't happen until we stopped the gear system. That means the baker's taking damage. Just a little more. What if we clog it? If I block the exhaust pipe with this, the machine will overheat and shut down. It's dangerous, but it's better than Nene breaking it. Now, let's see. There we go. Hmm. Did it work? Nope. Ah! 
steam pressure is too strong. It's not enough block the exhaust pipe. So we're going to reduce the pressure. Maybe with this? Do we do this? What do we do? Wait, there's a screwdriver thing right there. No, wait. Uh, no. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. 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 No. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a thing right there. So we lever something. Let's give it a spin. It's still tight. It won't budge. So weak. Is that all you got? I'm not weak. You're just too strong. This really won't budge. Okay, let's give it to Nene. Move aside, runt. Let the master handle it. What the? This really won't budge. See? It won't move. I told you I'm not weak. Shut your face. This is nothing. Huh? Cling? Ah, uh, what have you done? Well, what's done is done. There's nothing I can do now. It's all up to you, Lantern. Uh, step aside. We need to find another way. Like, uh, clog it now? Because, uh, it might have less pressure? Hmm, did it work? Fuck! What if we turn it again? Ah, no way we can spin it like this. Maybe we could do some grip with something. Gear? What, what about a gear? Nice, it's a perfect fit. Should I give it a spin? Did it work? The axle connected to the exhaust pipe is moving slower, and I think less smoke is coming out now. So now can we clog it? Please, for the love of Arceus. There we go. Okay, this should do it. It might get dangerous, so I better get it back. Good. Something will change now. Rattle, rattle. Come on, work. Boom. There we go. There we go. What the hell? Where did that come from? But there we go. Hmm. So you're useful sometimes after all. It worked. But it's still moving. Let's give it a few smacks and knock it out completely. Wait. Put it down. Careful. Easy. Let me finish. Huh? What? What? Something is swelling up. Right. Oh. Bread! <laughs> ah, what the heck is that? Ow! It hurts! Are these bullets or rock hard buns? Ah! Don't let the bread hit you! Retreat! Retreat! Nene, run away! Ah. <sighs> Unbelievable. I almost got killed by a flying loaf. How are you gonna fix this? We can't even go outside. Uh. The only option we have now is. Breaking the thing. Now you're talking. Been ages since I was in a good scrap. But I'll need to block those bread bombs. Something like a shield, right? Let's look for one. I need a weapon, too. How can I fight with these delicate hands? Give me a weapon. Be honest. You can't wait to fight it, can you? No time to waste. Let's find a shield and a weapon. Let's do it in the next episode. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Hasta the vista, baby.